to Lily's Creative Crafts, and today we're going to be making, well, kind of recreative, kind of making my own version, because I have no idea how I'd make this look like the real American Girl version. Today we're going to be making a phone for Courtney, and I'm going to go get Courtney, she's over here. She's not going to be in the video much, because we are going to be using paint, and I don't want to get Courtney messed up, because she is not mine, she is mommy's doll, but still... I love Courtney, she's so pretty. And right now she has her earrings in. Doo, doo, doo. She has her bracelets on. Oh, I made her this bracelet that says red. And right now I have her in her original outfit. Okay, so we're gonna make her a phone. And what you're going to need is cardboard, paint, blue, purple, pink, and yellow. One of these hair ties it doesn't have to have this thing in it. This is just the one I found that I liked. It, you know, it's one of these that kind of twirls. A pencil, scissors, and a hot glue gun. And of course, your Courtney doll or other doll that is dressed 80s fied. Because if you're like us, if we didn't have Courtney, we'd probably 80 one of our dolls and so that she would look like Courtney. First of all, I'm gonna go plug in the glue gun and I'll be right back. All right, so your first step is to cut this. So now, once you've cut it off from the piece, like so it says two, has it two ends, you're gonna uncurl it. Well, if you don't have one of these with a hair tie in it, I got this at the Dollar Tree. You don't have to do this step, but I have to. Super easy though. As you can see, we've got this. Do you know what it is? It's gonna be the phone cord for the phone. Courtney's phone is clear, but I didn't know how to recreate that. I guess I could paint it white and then paint the details in, but I just thought this is just gonna be a simple craft. And now we're gonna take this cardboard and draw our pieces out. All right, so something like that, kind of like a weird jelly bean pickle. And then you're gonna cut it out. Okay, I've cut this out, and oh, if you're wondering what that whirring sound is near me, if you can hear it, that is the fan. <laughs> this kind of looks like graham crackers to me. You're gonna trace your piece just like that. And now we've got the piece again, and we're gonna cut it out again. Two matching pieces, and you'll wanna keep those over here. Sometimes when you're crafting, it gets a little messy, and you have to, and you almost throw away some important pieces. So I'm trying to lay them to the side and make sure that I don't do that, because I've done that before, <laughs> and it is very annoying. All right, so I've got five of these little pieces. And if you're using cardboard like mine, that'll probably be enough. We're just gonna stack those and glue them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go stack and glue all these pieces, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I've got the base for the phone, and that's what we're gonna use. That's what Courtney's gonna hold up to her ear, like this. Uh -huh, well, yeah, my phone isn't ready yet. Okay, so now I think that's done. Oh, but this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna glue that there, hopefully, and it's gonna stretch out from the phone onto the base. So, um, I know this looks bad, but I am going to use some paper or something to help cover that up. And now I'm going to cut a strip off. I'm gonna take this piece of, you know, paper, line up my cardboard, draw a line. Okay, so that's about where I'm gonna need to start cutting for this piece of paper to fit on the edges of the phone. Now you can wrap it around figure out where you need to cut it, cut it off. 
I know this doesn't look exactly like a phone. I'm not trying to make it look super crazy good. So now I'm just gonna go glue this on and I'll be right back. Around the phone. Now it's smooth looking and we can paint it and it won't look hideous. <laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot to mention you will need some black paint to dot the little speaker, I guess you would call it, I don't know. I don't know much about old phones. <laughs> I'm just trying to recreate hers so I can have it because I really like Courtney's accessories. And you can only get that phone per bedroom, which I think is really ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the phone box thing. I'm gonna cut it out. Now, it's not going to be like a real phone where it's kind of like, you know, uh, like real slanted or anything, if you know what I mean. If you've ever seen a phone, you know, like the place where the phone stands and you're not using it. Kind of um, slants down. Well, mine's just going to be a plain old box. I mean, I'm not trying to be crazy, as I already said. All right, so you can fold a long rectangle of cardboard in half and then cut down the center, which will make two evenish pieces of cardboard. Now I'm going to cut out a long strip of cardboard, which I will show you in a moment. Okay, so I cut a strip of cardboard and folded it to be the size of my piece of cardboard. And I didn't have enough, so I had to make one more piece of board, which I'm gonna have to trim a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, you probably know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna glue this, and yeah, you guessed it. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got a box here, just a cardboard box. A cardboard box and a phone. That's what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to make the little keypad thing for her oops, phone. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to cut off a square or a rectangle. I don't know. Oh, and for the top, I'm gonna put that there. That's a little too long. Okay. So, there we go. That's what it's gonna look like. But now I'm gonna make the little keys for the keypad, which are gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna cut off a square of cardboard to make the buttons. There's some buttons. There's three rows of buttons with three buttons in each row, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna line up my buttons. So far I have that many. Uh, we're gonna have to cut more. Last row. Oh wait, no, no, well. And now I just need one more button. I've got my keypad here. It doesn't look very good, but oh well. So that's what it's gonna look like. So I got the supplies I need to paint. Oh, I'm gonna put this to the side because we're not painting that. I got a cup of water to rinse my brushes. I've got paint brushes of all different sizes. I've got a towel to wipe my brushes on. Paper towel, that is. And a paper plate to put my paint on. I've got black, yellow, I picked these colors not because they like match her phone or anything, just because I thought they were 80s looking. Maybe the blue. I don't know. I just felt it looked sort of 80s. Pink paint. I need to shake it. My pink paint is pretty runny. Finally, purple paint. Ugh, this paint smells bad. And maybe a little white. Maybe make the colors a little pasteller. Or like that blue a little pasteller. Because I feel like that blue is too dark. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting. I'm going to show a little bit of painting this phone, but that's about it. So let's get started. Yes. I finished up the main piece of the phone, and yes, I know, my speaker holes look awful. 
but I put some designs on it because, you know, I thought they looked quite 80s, the designs. I'm gonna put this over here to dry. And we're gonna keep going by painting this thing. I think I'm gonna paint it yellow. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's get started. All right, it's done. I ended up just, when I was done painting, just gluing it all together. So this is what it looks like. Here's the phone box. Here's the keys. You can see how I put it together. I ended up cutting these little pieces of cardboard to help hold the phone in place. Here's the phone and the cord. As you can see, I just glued the cord to the phone and the cord to the base. And that's about it. You can place the phone here. And it kind of springs back because of the elastic, but that's okay. Now you're obviously gonna want to let this dry completely before you give it to your Courtney or other dolls. But yeah, that's how I made the little my version of an 80s phone for the American Girl dolls. And yeah, you can see it's kind of big, but obviously it's for an American Girl doll. So now your dolls can talk on the phone. And I mean, I know you should have two of these to make the dolls talk, but she can talk to other people on their phones. So you could make another one for another doll and they could chat on the phone, but I'm definitely not, that took forever. But that's how to make a phone for your AG Courtney doll without having to spend um, $200 to get her bunk bed. So see you next time, bye.